Hey guys, I'm coming to you. We got breaking news in California. Do you remember the magnitude 6.4 in thousands? Uh, they reported over 1,500 aftershocks since the magnitude 6.4 we saw the other day. But obviously there were many more aftershocks with even tiny earthquakes occurring in rapid succession over and over and over and over. And we'll take a look at the seismic data in just a second. But breaking news, magnitude 7.1. Look at the depth. Now, they might change the depth just a little bit, I believe. Right at the surface, magnitude 7.1. Some people are seeing a 6.9. I'm going to say it's a 7.0. I definitely say it's a 7.0. That is for sure. Uh, just a bit ago, actually, 3.19.52. Actually, just recently, uh, wait, let's see here. Right now is 9.19 p.m. Pacific time, so about an hour ago, apparently. That's what they are saying when it occurred. Uh, so let's zoom in. And yeah, I, I did was not expecting this. The seismicity was starting to calm just a little bit. And you will guy and guys, I'm gonna show you where these earthquakes are taking place. You need to understand the importance of the location of these earthquakes. This is taking place in a well-known, very active volcanic field that supposedly has not erupted for 40,000 years. But there's a geothermal pumping operation there where they drill these holes 2,000 feet deep or something like that, allow steam to come up, turn the turbines to create energy for homes. That means there's a very, very active magma chamber in this location right here. Almost unprecedented activity to see these earthquakes occur in a well-known volcanic area. Well-known. And notice how we do have another burst of seismicity farther to the north, closer to coastal volcanic field. I'm going to go to volcanoes.usgs.gov. This is the past seven days. In the past seven days for the coastal volcanic field, we see the normal seismicity that breaks out usually in the coastal volcanic field and surrounding areas. 3,000 earthquakes, almost 3,000 reported events. Those are the events that are reported, guys. Remember, there are still a lot of little teeny tiny earthquakes that are occurring at such rapid succession over and over and over that they aren't being reported because really there are simply just too many. But I really want everyone to understand the importance of a swarm, and not just a swarm, but uh, a foreshock, main shock, aftershock sequence. I believe the 7.0 will be the largest that we see. We could see a few more sixes, possibly. We need to keep an eye on deformation in this area in the next few weeks, as long as an eruption doesn't happen tonight. But whether or not this is caused by volcanic activity, having this activity near very active magma chamber is dangerous, no matter what, guys. This is definitely going to put a lot of pressure pressure on the magma system in the area. In my opinion, they should shut down geothermal pumping operations for a while just to make sure everything's okay. We see coastal volcanic field is labeled up here. Coastal volcanic field is this entire area right here. Now, China Lake Naval Weapons Testing Station is right in this location just north of Ridgecrest, or Ridgecrest, I mean, excuse me. Um, the, and there is an active magma chamber. They have a geothermal pumping operation right in this location right here. They do some mining up in here. But notice, up here, we do have a bunch of earthquakes. Lots of them, guys. Almost 3,000 reported in the past, what, seven days or so? In the past month or something like that? Most of it, of course, occurring in the past few days since the 6.4. Unprecedented activity, especially since they do not know what fault this is occurring on, or this. Notice how it looks like a, a 7. Or it almost looks like a gun, kind of. You, you notice that? Look at that. It goes to the north northeast, and then it trends towards the northwest with the magnitude 7.1 occurring right at the end of this seismicity right here. There's a little bit of break of seismicity and then a big burst in seismicity right within the coastal volcanic field, actually. So we're going to take a closer look at the seismic data in just a second. But I just wanted to let you guys know, coastal volcanic field is having a major, major, absolutely unprecedented burst of seismicity. And I'm surprised that people on the news still are not stating this is an active volcanic area. Hasn't erupted supposedly for 40,000 years, but the thing is, it's still an active volcanic area. People need to understand that. Um, mainly, seismicity has somewhat calmed for this area right here. You can see some of them have occurred prior to the magnitude 7.1. But after the 7.1, a big burst in seismicity up here, guys. So... We definitely are seeing possibly a reaction between the magma chamber and this event right here, but I believe there is much more to these earthquake sequences than just simple tectonic activity, especially when they don't know what fault it's running on. And obviously you could tell there if this is 
caused by a fault itself. You can see there are multiple faults. I mean, I'm talking probably a whole cascade failure of the entire fault system in the southeastern section of the Coso Volcanic Field, again, which is a well-known volcanic area. And we're seeing earthquakes, the magnitude 7.1. Let's take a look at the event page real quick. In the red, shake map in the red. Did you feel it in the red? Everything's in the red. Um, I heard from somebody. Remember, reports are just coming in because this occurred just an hour ago. Right now is 9.24 p.m. Pacific time, July 5th, 2019. Um, someone said they saw 50 to 60 foot tall flames from a fire near this area. I really, really am telling you, I hope that this those are just flames from a fire i know that sounds weird but it would be worse if they were 50 to 60 foot tall fountains of lava right and i'm don't call me crazy because that's entirely possible seeing this type of activity on a volcano now can you imagine seeing this type of activity at yellowstone long valley caldera newberry caldera mount rainier everyone would be freaking out right saying a volcanic eruption is coming well i'm not freaking out <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not freaking out, but I must tell you that I do have a slight feeling, and I'm probably going to be wrong, but I'm just putting it out there just in case if it happens. I think a volcanic eruption could take place very soon in this area if this activity does not calm down or if one is not already taking place, because this is huge, huge activity for this area, especially on faults that they have no idea even existed, especially since the magnitude 7.1 occurred at negative 0.9 kilometers in depth. Again, that might be changed just a little bit, but that shows that this event is extremely shallow, guys. Very shallow. That's very rare to have a tectonic event that is that shallow. And look, undefined, earthquake.usgs.gov is having a hard time. It's being swamped by people right now, guys. If you don't have to get on the earthquake website, don't do it right now. Um, because really, it's swamping the whole website, guys. See, it, it, undefined undefined once again so uh, for some reason we cannot get to the event page and the uh the earthquake website is extremely glitchy right now guys so i think the server is just cannot handle the amount of people that are getting on let's try the event page just one more time i just looked at it too so i know it's up my goodness okay so it is not up yet but just keep an eye on earthquake.usgs.gov they should have the event page up to date once less people get off or excuse me, more people get off. We're going to take a look at the seismic data. Let's go find a good station, shall we? A good station would be this one right here, T-O-W. I'm hoping it's a... Sh nope, never mind. That does not look like it's got any data, huh? Uh, let's do S-R-T. Actually, why don't we do this one right here, W-R-C. I think this is short period or broadband. I'm hoping it is broadband. Let's see here just real quick. Uh, EHC, yes, it's short period vertical. So we're going to take a look at this. And you can see on the Webby Quarter, huge, massive activity going on currently at the Coso Volcano, which isn't really one volcano. It's a whole slew of volcanoes caused by an active magma chamber just beneath the crust, which will for sure be affected by the, uh, these earthquakes, definitely. Here we are in the seismic program swarm with WRV2, short period vertical of the CI network. No location codes should be dash dash. We don't need a frequency filter right now. But you could tell that after shocks from the magnitude 6.4 or whatever's going on in the area, you could obviously see them here. They were ongoing and you could see even little teeny tiny earthquakes occurring almost constantly. But this is the most break in seismicity that I have seen since the 6.4 occurred. And you could tell it was starting to calm down. Look at that. The seismicity was definitely starting to calm. And then boom, down here, we see multiple events, multiple earthquakes, more earthquakes, more earthquakes. And then all of a sudden, let's go down here. There is a four shock to the magnitude 7.1. Let's take a look at this just real quick. Again, a lot of these are occurring in such rapid succession. It is very surprising. And then boom, here is the magnitude 7.1, which I believe to be a 7.0, but we'll see what the, uh, what the end determination is from USGS and other stations as well. Going all the way up to amplitude count 1,399,624. That's right, almost 1,400,000 amplitude count for this magnitude 7.1. Again, this is one of the closest seismic stations to this area right here. Notice the aftershocks are occurring so fast, so many, so strong. It's just the seismic station can barely even keep up 
with the ongoing activity. Look at all of these guys. Look at this. And look at some of the dominant lower frequencies we see as part of these earthquakes, guys. Again, this is occurring within a well-known and active volcanic field that has not erupted supposedly for 40,000 years. Very, very strong earthquakes taking place. And if it were anywhere else, people would mention that it's a volcano. But for some reason, I don't know why the news media and other people are not mentioning that this is a volcano. In this area where these earthquakes are occurring, looks like a low frequency event occurring up to about, I'm going to say, 6,200 amplitude count right there. Very interesting low frequency event. Uh, so we are seeing a few lower, dominant lower frequencies in some of these events, guys. And look at, oh, whoops, my bad. Still going forward, still going forward. And look at all these earthquakes. Look at how fast they are occurring. Look at that. I'm going to say three or four of them right there. Definitely three or four strong earthquakes. With most of the most recent earthquakes occurring actually within the volcanic field itself. Right in the center of it. Notice that almost looks like a low frequency event. You see that? High frequency earthquake with a possible low frequency event among the midst. Again, I am telling you, I believe that this is possibly foreshadowing a coming volcanic event for the coastal volcanic field. I could be wrong, probably going to be wrong, but I just wanted to put that out there just in case because usually when I see seismicity like this in a volcanic area, it usually is definitely, uh, it usually is connected to volcanic activity, I, I have to say. And let's say it's not. Let's just go out on a limb and say this is only tectonic. Well, this is going to affect the magma chamber in some way. Having this much seismicity just right, literally right at an active magma chamber, guys, it's going to do something. I mean, I don't know. You guys be the judge of what you think is going to happen. I'm not here to put it all of that out, but I just want to show you guys the data. Here's the most recent data. More aftershocks coming in as of 9.30 p.m. Pacific time, July 5th, 2019. Let's go back to the earthquake map just real quick. Let's see if it'll let us go to the event page. Nope, still not going to the event page. And again, I state that I really, really hope that the 50 to 60 foot tall flames that that one guy said he saw, I really hope they are flames and not lava fountains. I'm really hoping because a lot of people are not used to volcanoes in California. I mean, California is littered with thousands, if not tens of thousands of different types of volcanoes, cinder cones, calderas, I mean, you name it, California's got it. But most people are not used to thinking that California is volcano country, because most people think of it as earthquakes, right? My goodness, guys. So we do have a big increase in seismicity in the coastal volcanic field, where it's magnitude 7.1, supposedly at negative 0.9 kilometers in depth, right at the surface. It is very unusual to see an earthquake this large at the surface. And I'm not talking about the fault rupturing towards the surface. I'm talking about the actual depth of the event. Very unusual. Very strange. I'm hoping the seismologists and the geophysicists are out there right now, taking an aerial survey of the area. Power is out in a lot of California in the location where this occurred. Almost brings back to memory the movie Volcano with Tommy Lee Jones, doesn't it? Right? There was a large earthquake, multiple large earthquakes, and then all of a sudden, boom, some volcanic eruption happened and they started calling it fires. That fire was coming out of the ground, right? Well, that's not fire, guys. Now, I don't know if that's happening. I don't know if that will happen. But again, just had to put that out there and just keep checking back to the earthquake website. The event page is still really glitchy. I'm going to put on another update tomorrow morning because it's getting really late right now. I just want to let you guys know that this is happening. Very crazy activity in California, guys. Very crazy. Hope you guys have a great day and God bless.